Whether you're buying your first house or selling your current home, you think you need to move, but the decision can be complicated. But really, you only need to ask yourself two questions. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. Today, I'm going to show you a really simple way to evaluate and simplify this complicated decision process. You may have to take personal and professional considerations when considering your move. Only you can judge what impact those factors will have on your desire to move. However, there is one category that simplifies this answer. When deciding to buy now or wait until next year, the financial aspect is easy to evaluate. You just need to ask yourself two questions. Do I think home values will be higher a year from now? Do I think mortgage rates will be higher a year from now? From a purely financial standpoint, if you answered yes to one of these questions, you should strongly consider buying now. But if you answered yes to both of these questions, you should definitely buy now. No one has a crystal ball or can guarantee what home values or mortgage rates are going to be next year. But the experts are quite certain, and I tell you, I've got to agree with them. Mortgage rates are expected to rise, but don't freak out. Home values are expected to continue to appreciate. But what does this mean to you? Let's look at an example of how waiting would affect your financial situation. If the experts are right, interest rates are expected to rise to about 3.18% by the end of the year. I think that's a tinge low. I think they're going to be a little bit higher than that. But also, home values will appreciate by 5.9%. I am full on board with that. I think that's right on. Say you want to buy a house that's valued at $350,000 today, and you've decided on a conventional loan putting 10% down. Here's the financial impact of waiting. You pay an extra $20,650 for the house. You need an additional $2,065 for a down payment. You pay an extra $116 a month in your mortgage payment. That's $1,392 additional per year. You don't gain the $20,650 increase in wealth through equity buildup. There are many things to consider when buying a house, but from a purely financial aspect, if you could find a home that meets your needs, buying now opposed to buying a year from now makes perfect sense. If you'd like to have a free, absolutely no obligation consultation, of how this applies to your personal situation, just click the chat 15 button down below in the description. Again, this is a 100% free, absolutely zero obligation service. Just your questions answered. If you found value in today's video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty, and I hope we talk soon. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.